Hey gangsters, it's just me, Ghetto Mama. And I don't know. Woo! I'm trying to fix my lighting. Anyway, I made a pot of chili today, but I'm not having chili. The rest of the family's having chili because, you know, beans has a lot of carbs in it and stuff like that. I might have to put you guys somewhere else. Oh, this lighting is crappy. And so is the camera angles. Oh my, what is a girl to do? Hmm. How is that? Well, that doesn't look too too grand. Anyway, here's my salad. I've got iceberg lettuce. I got lots of cherry tomatoes or cherubs. See, I don't know what to do about this lighting here. Wow. Well, crap. We'll just go for this. I don't know. What is casting the shadow? Hmm. Hold on, guys. This is total real life. Oh, oh, oh. Unpreparedness. I don't know. Did that hurt? I'm sorry. <laughs> I knocked you guys over. So, yeah. Okay. Crazy. Anyway, back to the salad. Well, I know what it is. It's off of my wolf lamp here. So I got you propped up. And I got um, cucumber. I already did the pepper, pepper, pepper thing. And I don't have a drink with me in my room. So, and this has um, raw chopped garlic in it. It's so pretty. So, I did a carb vlog today. Choo choo. And, um, <clears throat> my daughter went to Baldini's as a casino because she gets a free play. So she tried to win some money. You got to have a dollar to put in the machine to activate. I think she got ten dollars free play. Now, of course, the machine took her money. Hmm. Well, this might be better. Hmm. So, she only lost a dollar, you know, so, what the heck. Well, let's see. Last night I indulged with my Bob Marley pipe. It was good. It really was. I don't know if I should talk about this on here because advertisers might not find this friendly, the subject. But. You adults know about 420, right? Mm. So, you know, why not? It's legal in my state. You can go to dispensary. You can get a little bit. No problem. Oh, I should put more dressing on. My salad's dry. 
Mm. But, um, I probably won't indulge tonight. But it was good yesterday. Probably, probably I'm just going to be a weekend warrior. And I decided not to do it if I was, like, stressed out. Because I think if, um, people drink or smoke when they're stressed out, I think that starts some kind of addiction. And I just want to do it, you know, 420 when I'm in a good mood or want to relax or, you know, just party a little bit. I don't want to do it, use it as a crutch to deal with life because that's not, that's not a good thing. I wish I had more dressing. Well, let's see. What can I tell you about? Do you want an update on my romance? Well, maybe I should tell you our story. We've been on Facebook now about four years, and I've got like over 1,100 people that's on my friends list that I don't even know. Well, I'd say I know maybe about 200 people on my friends list. In real life, I know them. Anyway, um... I don't want to tell you my boyfriend's name just to keep, you know, it private, more private. But anyway, he messaged me over a year ago and he said that hi to me and we started chat. And um, he was putting his, his uh, move down on me. You know, like how guys do. And I wasn't very flattered. In fact, I was mad. Now, this was over a year ago. And basically, I cussed him out, told him off, don't message me again, blah, blah, blah. It's like, go away. You're too young for me. Don't want you. So, he accepted it. And then, um... He came back around and was messaging me, asking me how my health was, because he keeps up with my Facebook things. And he became a friend like that. And I thought, well, he's a nice guy. I hook him up with one of my friends on here. That didn't work. Everybody I tried to hook him up with, he didn't like. There was something wrong with him. He didn't like their picture. Or he'd just flat out say no. So then, maybe about, you know, just he'd talk to me off and on, like maybe a couple times a month, you know, commenting on a post or sending me a private message, you know, pertaining to a post that he was interested in. And then... About October, I was getting scammed by somebody, and I really kind of liked him. Thought it was real. Found out it was fake. And my boyfriend now would respond to my post and he'd be talking to me about it and stuff like that. Anyway, long story short. I don't know. He just grew on me. He said all the nice things and he wasn't like, um, he wasn't, you know, I don't know how, but 
he wasn't really like a scammer or anything. You know, he wasn't asking me for anything bad or anything. He's just, you know, like talking to me. And so then, you know, I thought, well, he's he's nice. And how could I be so mean to him and stuff like that? So I start talking to him and started to like him. He starts sending me his pictures. And I'm like... Oh, he's kind of cute. But I'm too old for you. Oh. You wouldn't believe what I have in my thing. Look. A tomato. Look at gray both ends on this one side. I can't get it to do it. But it looks like a heart to me. There it goes. It looks like a heart. Mm. It tastes good. Anyway, he just kept messaging me and talking to me, and I decided I liked him. So I like him and everything, and kind of that L word, in love with him type of thing. And I have like a lot of anxiety over this thing. Because he's way over there, overseas, someplace. And it's very difficult to come over here. So I don't know if we'll ever get to see each other in real life. Although we video chat, we have a good time. We just have a good time when we video chat and everything. So I hope he can come over here. But then now here on the reality side is he's so much younger than me. I think I can't keep up with this dude probably because he's going to want to go here and go there and I have a bad back and I can't walk around and do all stuff. Plus, I'm old, have a saggy, fat body. So how's this going to work? How, how am I going to hold his interest? I don't know. Because, you know, like when you're um, with somebody, it's like different than when you are just talking on the Internet and stuff. When you're like real life. And this is like a real big concern to me. Plus I can do really cute camera poses where I look really cute and all that stuff. But in real life I'm not that cute. You guys watch my videos. One day I look nice, the next day I'm like, you know. It's reality. Sometimes the camera is like real flattering and Sometimes it's not, but I don't know. I'm just like worried. But, you know, I really want him to, to be in my life. I want him to come here. If, or I should say when, because I don't want Jake's Law of Attraction, when he comes over here, I will marry him. I mean, why not? I've been married four times, by the way, gang. And two times I got married. Well, three times I've been married. Okay, three times. The first two was for the wrong reasons. And the last one was because I did love somebody, but he was from India, and his parents didn't like me because I'm white American and I can't take care of him, his family. So I don't know the language, 
and his mom wanted me to go move over there to India, and I didn't want to do that. I, I, I don't want to leave America, you know. My new guy's from India, too, but from what I can tell, his mom likes me. I mean, we were on the phone with his mom, you know, like video chatting, like for maybe two hours on Facebook Messenger, and she seemed like she liked me. She kept smiling at me and stuff. She doesn't speak a bit of English, though, but he was, like, translating. I mean, she seemed like she liked me. I don't know. I'm just praying for the best. Have any of you, like, met anybody off a line or had a long distance relationship and how did that how did that work out for you I need a glass of milk supper is not supper unless I have a glass of milk and I don't have it much left And I'm in the need of a glass of cow juice. So I'm going to let you guys go. Again, I ate it almost all gone. And I'm going to go finish this and have a glass of milk. And if you come back to visit, I will see you next month. Next month, bang.